you live yes Good again stuff. again yeah. karibuni tuko 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 tuseme tuko aje tuko live too tuko live oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but there was a there was a show which one live 8 i think it ifika paka 8 is it yeah there was a big music show it was called live 8 yes no uh director of music do you remember live 8 no it was a medical sign but left isha we we added a new a new responsibility to our camera guy eh spelling Uh, yeah. we, yeah. we should have upgraded there with us okay. like t- <laughs> anyway, you get, you, we will be fine today we are discussing discernment yes Kari- a discerning person eh uh, eh yeah. mako yeah, salama yeah i'm i'm actually honestly better than i've been in a long long time that's good news very eh, you have no clue yani <laughs> I want to go hug my doctor. No. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, utaki ku advertise. Eh, uh, we, 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 we have different people handling different things. Ah, so, nimesema so. kila mtu na grace yake. Sawa. So. Kila mtu na grace yake. Eh. Yeah. Sasa? Eh. Yeah. Eh, last you were seen on this side of this camera. Yes. We finished discussing uh, we were discussing accurate knowledge. Yes. And we were at the discussion of um evil yes. and how we define evil eh? uh-huh. and and I didn't write it here so there's this scripture that says the money is the root of all evil uh, 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 the love of money the love of money yes is the root of all Timothy. evil when uh, paul was talking <laughs> to timothy yes but i've been thinking about the the factor of self uh-huh. um in the in, in the cause of evil Uh-huh. Um when you consider what the woman did in the garden yes it was an act of self determination yes which got defined as the cause of death yes when you consider Ahab and Naboth mm-hmm. that was self interest yes he was like i like your vineyard yeah i and i'm the king yes. i don't see why i shouldn't have it mm-hmm. <coughs> when you consider what the devil was asking jesus to do to self preservation yes you you're the son of god and you're hungry what do you mean yeah. just eat eat yes you have the capacity to do it yes we seem to ignore uh, or not realize that the very i don't want to say definition but the very beginning of evil mm. starts with me looking out for myself it has you you have this nice habit of asking very hard questions mm-hmm. and then making it sound like he makes it sound like yani ni 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 Sunday school you know like <laughs> I'm Eliza how many fish swallowed Jonah you know <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's start here uh-huh. first and and I will not go into the definitions now because mm. if we go into the definitions of the words yes. we will spend the whole one and a half hours describing them yes first the term sin mm-hmm. is a capture all term uh-huh. it, it includes abomination <coughs> it includes uh, 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 wickedness it includes uh, 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 perverseness it includes uh, 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 perverse uh, wickedness evil iniquity iniquity as someone I was looking for right so all of these words mean different things yes so let's put a pin in it okay the simplest definition mm. of sin from the greek yes. everyone knows this mm. is missing the mark yes problem with that definition of sin is under grace there is no law therefore there is no mark mm mm-hmm right mm-hmm. so you cannot in today's uh, revelation of god mm-hmm. say the mark is i am generous i gave <coughs> tithe it, it it's it's not a mark mm-hmm. right you cannot say i 
I am righteous because I sacrificed a calf uh, on Pentecost. Mm. So when the mark was moved, mm -hmm. in fact, let me go, let me go back. Let's let's do the correct timeline. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, okay, broke a law. Yes. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> Cain and Abel, Cain broke no law. Mm. Because the, he was told, sin is crouching at your door, master you it. must master it. Yeah. There was no sin called murder. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But yet, Cain was guilty. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. As were the people who were judged by the flood, yes. there was no law. Yeah. So, the law comes with Moses. Now, the law comes with Moses because, if you remember the conversation, the people refused to relate with God. Yes. If you don't <clears throat> relate with God, you will relate with laws. Mm -hmm. it's, it's natural. Mm -hmm. If you do not have a guiding principle in you, okay, then you will require external things to keep you in check. Yes. You get. So, for mm -hmm. example, if you how do i put it if you lack an image inside you of who you want to be you will be whatever you want to be Just meaning to, uh -huh. your external environment is what will control you i just thought of an interesting uh, example of what you say yes <coughs> a captain of a ship yes without a compass yes needs buoys yes he needs signposts to direct it. To direct it. In, the, in the vast ocean. Exactly. So any society, whether it's atheist, it's Buddhist, it's whatever it is, any time the law is present is because God is absent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a natural state. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know this? The whole purpose of Christ coming was to say that we should be like him. Mm -hmm. So the standard by which sin is judged is no longer a law. Yes. It is now a person. Mm. That person made flesh called Christ. Christ. Basically what God was saying is, listen, this is the template. Now, if you look at uh, weight standards and measures, mm. uh, there used to be a rod. Was it kept in France? Yes, in France. That used to define a meter. Mm -hmm. Right? So guys used to go there and measure. Yes. Right? Uh, the standard is what you're measured against. against. You are not measured anymore according to action. Mm -hmm. Listen. Jesus said, out of a good tree comes good fruit. From a bad tree comes bad fruit. Okay. What choice did the tree have? None. Mango is a mango. You get the tree. <coughs> okay. Mark four. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who planted a seed, mm. and the earth, working day and night, produce first the shoot, mm. then the plant, then the fruit. Mm. The kingdom of God is like seed. Mm. We are called the sons of God. Okay. Meaning, we are new creations in God. Yes. So, God no longer judges the actions. We say all the time, he judges the heart. Mm. Now, when he says he judges the heart, he does not mean just the lovingness of a heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Because we know you can be very wrong in loving someone. Yes. Right? We know there are mothers who've loved their sons who are 37. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Take a sip of water. And that child is spoiled. So the judgment, the measure, is who are you? What are you made of? Yes. 
That's why you are f one made a new creation, filled with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and are being transformed to be like Christ. Yes. You get? Yes. So, in Ephesians, it says, so that we may all grow to the measure, stature, and the fullness of Christ. Of Christ. So that what God judges, okay. let me do engineering, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Samsung. Samsung. When Samsung makes this phone, mm. okay? To them, sin is if they said the glass should be X, Y, Z scratch proof. Mm. It's, it's not. It's a sin. Mm. Uh, the chip is supposed to be certain megahertz. Yes. Fast. Speed, yes. It's not. Mm. It's a sin. sin. So Samsung's job, okay? Samsung, the creator, creator's job is to make sure that by the time he has finished making this phone, when it has the charge which he is providing mm -hmm. and the antenna signal, it does what it was supposed to do. Yes. You get? Mm -hmm. Now, that process of recreation which Jesus told to Nicodemus in uh, John chapter 3 when Nicodemus asked how can I go to my mother's womb again. and be born again he mm -hmm. said if you don't understand this you don't get my message mm -hmm. because all through creation from Adam to Jesus mm -hmm. everyone was trying to do what they were not mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. you get it's basically everyone who lives according to the law then and now mm -hmm. is like a person trying to become water. Mm. You're trying to perform what you are. You naturally can't. Yes. And if you read now uh, what I call the gospel according to Paul, because Romans lays out his theology, if you read it sequentially, don't, but please never read Romans Understood. chapter 1. Alafu Semeo chapter in Asia, then you read chapter 2, you, you, you're missing the entire point. Romans, you should read from chapter 1 to at least chapter 9. Mm. That is one statement he's making. Because if you take any of those things without the context of what he's saying in chapter 1, mm. and that's why people like misquoting, and when we'll talk about it, mm. at he, and he gave them over to mm. their lusts. I'm, I'm like, imagine that's not the point. Paul is making mm -hmm. because if you follow that point then this would be unpopular according to that scripture if you think it's a, against gay people then it is God who made them gay because mm -hmm. he says he gave, gave them, them over. over you get mm -hmm. so if you read it you miss the point but the gospel according to Paul is very basic mm -hmm. Paul is making the statement that you can like the law I can like the color blue. It is nice. I may delight in blue. And my spirit rejoices in blue. Mm -hmm. But since I am not blue, when you squeeze me, red will come out. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the transformative operation of Christianity, so that we define what is this first sin, evil, first mm -hmm. is that if you have not been transformed by Christ and you do the right thing it is still sin mm. that's the statement um, you performed many miracles in my name yes but I, I never knew, knew you I know not you you get so <coughs> one of the hardest things for Christians to understand is you know this scripture that says work out your salvation with fear and trembling mm -hmm. the verse that next says for it is he who causes you mm -hmm. both to will and, and to act according, according to his good pleasure mm -hmm. listen it is him who causes you mm -hmm. to will is to want mm -hmm. to desire mm -hmm. to like to yes okay Hey, sir, sir. Then, after you have desired, even the action 
it is him who gives you. So what God does, he gives the instruction, then gives you the will, and will is also the internal strength to do it, then he gives you the capacity to do it. Yeah. So then now, what is wickedness? Think about it. You see, the younger and more micro your thinking is, the more evil and good is black and white. Right? Mm -hmm. If you see evil and good as black and white, you are still very childlike in your thoughts. I'll give you an example. Let's scale it up. Kenya has a president. He's called Mikey Baki. Mikey Baki? Yes. Mm -hmm. He has a problem. Mm -hmm. Somalia is sending bombers mm -hmm. and they're throwing grenades mm -hmm. every other uh, when do you call it? Every other uh, week yes. in town people are dying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now he knows that if he sends soldiers into Somalia mm -hmm. to drop bombs, he will not only kill Al-Shabaab people, yes. but he will kill innocent no Somalis. So, yes. is it a sin to murder in the classic sense? Yes. So Kibaki died a murderer. <laughs> you see, listen, the moment the law is removed, okay, righteousness is defined as being like Christ, mm. not being sinless. Mm. Okay, there's nowhere in the Bible where anyone is promised to be sinless. In fact, Jesus himself, don't say, don't call me good. Only God is, is good. good. Like, meaning, man, man is good but God. Is good but God. And two, no one can be sinless. Because if sinlessness is attaining the status of Godhoodness, it is not possible. Mm. But when it comes to the question of good and evil, the person who decides what is good and what is evil is God. So, let me give you a story. There was a guy called Joshua. So, mm -hmm. he had had for over 80 years that God had given a promise to Abraham and confirmed it to Moses mm -hmm. that there is a promised land and he is supposed to displace okay yes and uh, nations do what they are still doing with with the Palestinians today yes. <laughs> incidentally yeah. kill those people chase them away in fact some of them do what is today called genocide genocide you get go extinguish and make sure there is no perizzite on earth. Have you ever met a perizzite? A gagishite? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> you get those guys. Huh? Now listen. <laughs> God is basically saying, go into this place, commit war crimes, yes, kill babies, children, chickens, goats. And everything. So this is the instruction. Mm. From who? From God. Joshua meets an angel. So, mm. the angel has obviously been sent to God, by God, to Joshua because God is on Joshua's side. Mm. Joshua asks a question which we have mistaught for years. Mm. Joshua asked, on whose side are you? Mm. Ours or theirs? The angel did not hesitate. He said, neither I am on the Lord's side. Mm. So basically, 
good, evil, God. Yes. Let me remind you guys something. Isaiah says, I created the darkness. Mm. Who? God. Okay. If God created the darkness, is darkness the opposite of God? Dun, 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 dun. See, problem with how we were taught religion, we were taught there is Superman and there is uh, what was his name? Bald guy? Lex Luthor. You get there is Batman, there is Joker. So we decided there is God and then we elevated Satan here. That is mistake number one. God does not have opposites. He is everything. Mm. That thought needs to stick in your head because the reason why many people have left God felt bad about God is because you feel bad things are from the devil mm. and good things are from God. Mm. Yet, the guy who suffered the most job himself said, shall I accept good from God and not evil? Then, remember, who sent the devil? God. First, who put the idea in the, devil, in the devil's head? God. It was God who was like, hey, by the way, Eh? Have you considered my, eh? my servant here? The devil is not the opposite of God. The devil is not fighting God and cannot even fight God. Mm. It is even the entire Bible, right? It is angels who deal with the devil. And because we have very, very, very superhero movie themed brains. When we imagine the angels in heaven fighting the devil, or indeed some of us when we pray, we imagine we're also fighting, fighting the, the devil. devil, we forget the term angel means messenger. messenger. Do messengers fight? They fight the rain on their way to deliver the message. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find scriptures very interesting. When Elisha said, there are many who are with us, and those others are few, mm. then he saw a mighty host of angels. Mm. Then the mighty host of angels made people blind. Mm. You, you don't notice those things are not the same. What, okay. What message Listen. delivery? These guys have come with pangas, naso diaruto. So, yeah. so, if there's going to be a war, you'd, you'd expect soldiers. Yes. You get warriors. It. But he sent mes messages. Yes. Now, the angel of death, <coughs> when he killed the first <laughs> All he needed to do was come with the message of God that says, you are an Egyptian firstborn die. Mm. That's all an angel needs to do. Deliver the message. Deliver See, the word. Yes. It is the power of the word that gives the angel the purpose. Mm. So the angel is not there. At Isasa, at, at Isasa, I imagine the guy and the prince of Persia with story yeah, Daniel. Yes. So to have Kirianga Prince of Persia. <laughs> First there are spirits that don't have bodies. <laughs> so what was the issue? The issue is always the message. So yes. Because what was being withheld was the angel with the message for Daniel. Daniel. So mm. that's just it's to like put it in perspective. So that we get out of the mentality 
of God's equal. Yes. And just just to confirm that, we take every thought captive mm -hmm. that raises itself above the knowledge of Christ. Okay? That is true spiritual warfare. It is not binding demons. We've been binding for a hundred years. Either our ropes are wrong Jeans. <laughs> or we don't understand what we are supposed to do. So now, if you put God above everything and take the example of Joshua, so you will understand good is what God is doing. Mm. That's what good is. Yes. Good is God has decided. 1939, there'll be a war. So, mm. we have been taught of that war that Hitler was bad and the, the, the Americans world. and French, no, sorry, French, half of them were German anyway. Mm. I don't know how they cleared their name anyway. Mm. Europe is, okay, if you read the history of Europe, yeah, anyway, it's disgusting. Mm. So, think about it. We know the Allies were good it's and like the Nazis were Italy. bad. So, mm. how many Kikuyus did the Briton kill here in Kenya? So if it's about exterminating people, mm. right? <laughs> Belgium, how many Congolese did they kill? Right? Mm. The British, in fact, during the same time, how many Indians did they starve to oh, death? Yeah. Millions. Mm. So you want to tell me Hitler was bad, so bad, he's the worst, because of Jews, and Belgium is not so bad, because they killed black people. Mm. And Britain is not so bad because Indians are the ones who starved to death. Come on. I want you to think about it. You see, I've worked long enough in politics to understand, because God used to try and teach me this thing. I couldn't get it. When it comes to matters of men, there is never good or bad. When a wife and a husband fight, you listen to the wife, Pekiaki, you go, hey, 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 boss. Oh, man, oh, man. You listen to the husband, Pekiaki, you're like, shit, he just a bella could die. <laughs> you get. Now, in 1939, in that moment, you don't ask God, who is good? The Germans? Or the, the British, so that I join mm -hmm. at side. No, no, no. You ask God, what, what are, are you doing? doing? Mm. Right? Mm. Because think about it this way: when Jesus was born, the biggest problem for the Jews was that they were paying taxes to the Romans. Mm. So they were basically servants to the Romans, right? Jesus is born. There is two prophets, okay? Mm. Two. Who have been living in the Roman Empire with all that mess, with mm. all that mistreatment. Mm. But God told them, you wait, there's like a boy who is going to be born and, and your job in that Roman Empire, in that big problem, in the political issues, in all of that, your job is to behold that child when they come to the temple. Mm. Jesus never made Rome an issue. He never mm. made Rome an issue. 
because if God had not allowed Rome to exist as it did, the gospel we hear today mm. would not have been there. They had the roads, the transportation, the unity of language, mm. right? And writing. Yes. There was no better time before that for Christ to come. You get? Yeah. That is why <clears throat> I find it very interesting. Remember the statue of uh, Nebuchadnezzar? Yes. You see one kingdom after another kingdom after another kingdom after another kingdom. These kingdoms, it does not seem like God is doing anything. Yes. Can you imagine? 100 years, uh, Babylonians. Yes. Persians, mm. Greeks, Romans. Romans. You get you've chapped a thousand years. Chapped a thousand years. Not working in Russia. All over. Jesus has not come. Mm. Think about that. Then the Bible says, a stone hewn out of a mountain came and crushed right? Mm. The statue. God is always doing two things. Mm. One, the thing called the world, whose prince, not king, mm. okay. can say something controversial. Mm -hmm. If the devil is the prince of the world, See, but there must be a king. Mm. If I say you are a prince, see, there is a king. Okay. I understand why he's called king of kings. Okay. Mm. So, <laughs> so, he, God allows the world, let me not use the term allows, because it, it, it goes into this false theology of the permissive will of God. No, it's all the will of God. Mm. God created the world to birth his kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. because every time the kingdom is represented, it is always birthed out of the world. True. Israel came out of Egypt. Egypt. Who sent First, just think about it. God decides there's going to be seven years of famine. Mm. So, does not bother to tell Jacob or Judah mm. or Levi or Reuben. Nothing. Nada. Okay? Mm. He decides there's a guy called Joseph who I will allow jealousy, anger, hatred, okay, mm -hmm. to send to Egypt. Joseph himself said, it was God's purpose that I come here yeah. so that you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So God planned bad mm -hmm. things to happen to Joseph so that, so that his brothers could come to Egypt so that they could be slaves so that they could be taken out. So what is evil? Evil is <laughs> evil is simply therefore not being aligned with God's business. Exactly. And evil is evil personal to you. So let me explain. Nebuchadnezzar, my servant, uh -huh. Sorry. my servant, mm. my chosen one. Mm. Okay, to do what? To take you to exile. Mm. If Nebuchadnezzar does not take you to exile, and to you it is evil, he is a sinner. Mm. Let 
Listen. What Nebuchadnezzar did to the Jews in was our, evil. In our eyes. In our eyes. You get, he killed them, took them to slavery, turned them to eunuchs, right? But who sent him? So was Nebuchadnezzar evil? In God's eyes. <laughs> you see? Good. Listen. Guys, let us, let us remove, remember, midway through this conversation, I said, remove the God versus, versus. bad thing. God is God of them both. Ah, yeah. Which is why he says all things, yes. he uses all things yes. for his purposes, for his good. All things work, work together. together. All. Not some, not good things, not bad things. All. All. So, you will struggle with this concept for as long as you think there is a dividing line. Okay? between good and evil. Mm. There is only God's purpose. Okay? The scripture I like in Ecclesiastes says do not be over foolish, do not be over wise, do not be over wicked, do not be over good. Yes. Then it says for the righteous man shall come forth from both. Mm. Mm. You get you yourselves read in your Bible, you say, a righteous man falls down seven, seven times. times and gets up. So, it does not say he is righteous when he stands. It does not say he is righteous when he falls. He is righteous standing, falling, standing, falling. He is righteous all the time. People struggle with the idea. And, and this is one of the biggest issues that theologians have. And it's a big philosophical debate mm. in theology school. If God is absolutely good, why does evil exist? Yes. It is not a claim God has ever made. It is us who have decided for God who he is. And that's the first commandment. Do not make an image of your, in your head about who, who God, God is. is. If God is limited in his capacity in any sense. He stops being God. Mm. You get? Mm. He, therefore, created this thing called the world, from which, in Revelation, he says, come out of her, my people. Jesus himself said, listen, this is what Jesus said, behold, I, I send you a sheep among... So, God's Attention is always hidden with the wolves. Mm. Okay, can I give you another example? In a great house, there are many vessels. Yes. Vessels of honor, vessels of dishonor. Vessels of wrath, vessels of grace. Okay? Okay. We always think vessel a thing, you think. Mm. But vessel is used. So there's a vessel God uses to pour wrath. Yes. And there's a vessel God uses to pour grace. Because a vessel is used to carry something for the purpose of being poured out. Yes. Okay? Mm. All of them are in which house? His house. So you cannot say a tsunami has happened. God was Shetani Ashindwe. No. In fact, the entire purpose of the Bible is not to defeat the devil. The devil is supposed to cause you labor pain so you can give birth. Listen. Did, did you not notice? I was about to say something nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so God, so the devil occasionally is good. <laughs> In that sense. 
yes, he created everything. And in fact, it says, in fact, the first instance of the devil, it says, the, devil, the serpent was the craftiest of all creatures yes. that the, the Lord had made. made. See, the Lord had just made creatures and said he looked at it and saw that it was, it was good. good. You get? Mm. So, listen. Do you guys realize without the devil, Jesus wouldn't have died? This is true. You know, we miss certain critical things in scripture. Without the devil, Jesus would not have died. Quickly. Maliza Do you know do you know how we know? When the Jews tried to stone him once, he disappeared on them. You remember? The, it thought the crucifixion was not actually the first time they tried to kill him. You get. In fact, Ali Wangoja. Hmm. You get. To make him king at some point. Yes. So he. You see, if you want to understand the plan of God, think of what his end game is. If you read the last chapter. He talks of a new Jerusalem, a new earth, and a new heaven. That is his goal. Okay? Everything else passes away because its purpose is done, not because it is bad. Can I say something controversial? <laughs> the lake of fire is preserved for instruments whose purpose has ended. Listen carefully. The valley of Hinon, Jehenna, was a place where they burnt things they were no longer yes. using. Everything exists today because God is still using it. Okay? So, in Acts, Peter says, the heavens must retain Christ until every word spoken by every prophet has been done. That's the reason Christ has not come back. Mm. Christ is not coming back because the Pope said gay people can be blessed. Me, I don't understand people. It is very clear that there are certain things which must occur. Then the purpose of this earth and the present heavens have been finished. Mm. Then they are rolled away. You get they are not being taken away because they are contaminated. That's that dualic thinking. We think it's evil, so it was destroyed. It is no. But the, the, already that statement has its problems because evil and good would then mean that that's what you think is good is kept. Yes. But there's a new heaven. Yes. So okay. what was the problem with the what is the, yeah. the heaven is, the, is where he sits. Yes. And then... Oh. He just happens not to start another lake of fire. You get? Mm -hmm. So, if you want to journey with God, you must first remove God from the mold of, you know, uh, you go to pray for a sick person, you know God is good, so God must heal him. That's, that's, God has no such obligation. It is why... Preachers will always backslide when they promise a miracle. Mm. You get? Because everyone who knows God, you've had a miracle. You get? Mm. 
Who was that? It was God. Right? We all have experienced miracles. But please, do one now. Because the owner of the miracle is God. I cannot promise you and tell you Tuesday, 24th, Afraha Stadium. Come with your crutches. How will I know? Unless you get told. You get. What if the people who show up are all Hittites and God wants them all to die? Then there's an earthquake. No. Yeah. Guys, let's again remember. There used to be a prophet. He was called Balak or Balak. Always confuse the two. Uh, eh? Balak was, was a prophet. prophet. Yeah. yeah. Balak. Okay. So Balak has been paid good money. Mm. <laughs> In fact, have you ever read that story correctly? I need, it's a very funny story. To check it. First, paid God told money. him to go. Then God blocked him. Mm. Then the guys who had paid him to curse Israel mm. were so frustrated because the guy kept blessing them. Now, is it because God was happy with the Jews? Because it's a, so that's a time after that they've just they're some doing laps. Yeah. God was busy swallowing them up in the earth, mm. uh, sending plagues to them. Plagues and snakes. You get. Yet, no one could cast them. Are you guys okay? You look depressed. <laughs> Can I depress uh, them more? Trying, my, my wife is wondering, what is the application of this knowledge to somebody to come? <laughs> it, uh, good. If, uh, Which application of this knowledge? I, I, I do that. I'll, I'll answer you. In fact, that's why I wanted to go. So, I don't know how this connects. Because uh -huh. my next concern mm. is do we really then want to know God's will? Uh -huh. God's will. So, this is this story about uh, the lying spirits. The uh -huh. lying spirits to the prophets. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's very interesting. So number one, Ahab goes to Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. and says, Nakuru ni kwangu, mm. whatever, Ramos mm. Gilead. Yes. It's ours. Yeah. Why are we letting these guys yes, uh, take do the it. thing? Mm. Jehoshaphat says, my people are your people, yes. my horses are your horses. Yes. You want us to go fight? We are going. Yeah. Then he's like, okay, sir. Uh, he calls his prophets and it actually specifically says his prophets, yes. Ahab's prophets. Yeah. And tell them, my book come and tell me how this thing is going to go down. Mm. And they're like, ah, end of Roshe, you'll beat them. Jehoshaphat is like, no, no. There is no prophet of the Lord mm. here. They're like, call guy called Micaiah. And he's like, no, but this Micaiah, Ahab is like, Micaiah never speaks in my good favor. Things, yeah. Never speaks good things for me. But Sawa, I eat way. He comes, and uh, some other high prophet has already said the way they even made a horn. At you by yes. this horn, you mm. shall Nyorosha bash these guys. Yeah. Mikael is like, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, you guys will win. Uh, true story. True story. Which, first of all, Ahab, in that moment, I, th I would have thought he'd have been like, okay, good, let's go. But he says, no, no. See, I told you this guy always lies. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth. Then Mikael says, by the end, any Yes. He's like, what do you mean? And then now Mikael explains that in heaven. God needed Ahab a to plan to, to sort out Ahab, yes. And asked, How will I do this? And a spirit said, I will, I know what I shall do. Now, note, this is heaven. Yeah. I know what I shall do. In the presence of God. Yes. I will go and be a lying spirit to his prophets so that whatever they tell him, he will do and be destroyed. So now, first of all. Uh, wait, and what did God say? Good idea. Fanya yo kitu. Sawa. So he didn't simply allow, he ratified. Yes. Sanctioned. So, so now, me as I'm reading this story, as has, King has uh. Ahab's shoes, yeah. I'm thinking, hold up. You just told me I'm going to be taken out. Yes. Me, I'm like, this war is over. Yeah. Ahab says, take me here, put him in prison. Yes. I am going to war. Nikirudi. If I... Nikirudi? Niki, Niki Take him out. Yes. Question. 
do we really want to know what God is doing? Because that is a story that bugs me, that you have asked of God's plan, he has told you exactly, then you still... See, so that's the genius of God. God told the devil, her, the, her child, her son, will crush your head. Mm. Alisema, thousands of years before. Yes. So, application to the person in Trukana. Mm. Remember where we started. Many Christians spend too much time thinking it is good versus evil. Spend too little time finding out God's purpose. Yes. So, now, if you are in Turkana, in Mombasa, in Malindi, in master class here, remember what Jesus said. I do only that what which I see, I see my father, father do. If you are going to live a holy life, now let me put you into perspective as to what holiness actually is. It mm. means set apart for specific use. Mm. That's a holy life. A holy life is not a holy life that you've just been holy, you are celibate, now you are holy. No. Separate issues here. Mm. Something cannot be holy without a use to God. Number one. Mm. So, the challenge of our times, Paul said, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. For this is your reasonable act of worship. Mm. So stop calling songs worship songs and stop calling singing worshiping. Where there is no sacrifice, there is no worship. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's number one. You must be willing to live a life given to God. Mm. Because unless you're given to God, he can still use you. But then you are a vessel to be discarded. You are useful for a period. Mm. When you give yourself to him, he owns you. Yes. Then it says, conform no longer to the patterns of this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to determine what? God's Good, good and perfect will for your life. For your life. This is why I don't teach or tell people what their purpose is. It is impossible to find it unless you've given yourself to Christ. Mm. And it is impossible to find it if your pattern is still of the world and your mind is not being constantly renewed. When it is being constantly renewed, okay, I swear to you, God will show you things about life, about clothes, about fashion, about, he will reveal things to you that make you know what to do, not just, you know, people think of purpose, as one big thing. Mm -hmm. Like we, we think of Michael Jackson, his purpose was to sing. No. He had children. He had businesses. He had so many things. Purpose is not one thing. His good and perfect will for your life is sometimes, wait, listen, uh, take some money, uh, put it in uh, KCB, to a KCB. Ah, so, sorry, in a bad example. I don't want to cause a panic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chase. To a pesa chase bank. Peleka, cooperative. You get. When God reveals that to you, that is good and perfect will for, for you. You get. So the practical application is that you will do and live a life where God orders your step. 
But that's the definition of the righteous. God orders the steps of the righteous. righteous. You get. So the struggle, where we started, the struggle is not the tree to bear good fruit. The planter of the tree, who is God, will make you bear good fruit. This is all you have to be is good soil. That's it. Right? If you're good soil, he guarantees you. You will bear fruit. Right? If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will bear good fruit. So, the purpose of your life and therefore the separator of good and evil is the revealed will of God in your life, which must be something you work in daily. So, so when God reveals to you, so let me, let me give you an example. So, when God reveals to you and tells you, uh, I want you to be a fashion designer. I want you to make the best fashion. And you are Who's this chick, this famous French chick? Coco Chanel. You're a tailor. Nazis want uniforms. Do you make their clothes or not? Ah, you start making. Do you see how that question in your head for good and evil confuses you? Mm. You what did God tell you to do? Make clothes. So, mm. notice Elisha is a very interesting guy. Elisha only talks to people God has asked him to talk to. You get? Mm. Elisha is the guy who, at a big general has showed up with gifts. Do you what? He does not even leave his house. He's like, tell that guy to go shower seven times. I want nothing from him. That's how sensitive Elisha was. Elisha asked Gehazi when he came back with the clothes, with a tenth of the gifts that okay, they were so stupid. He would have had leprosy, but with with Gucci, you know, Ali Rudina, one Gucci suit. <laughs> <laughs> the guy came with ten Gucci suits, you know. But anyway, he comes back and Elisha asked him, was it time to receive? Boss, our churches, every time is receiving, receiving time. time. But Elisha asked, wait, wait, any time you could receive it. My friend, when in my life have I not wanted stuff? Tell me when. But Elisha was so in tune, he knew. It's not time for me to receive anything. You get. Let me tell you. true story. On uh, Monday, a friend of mine I haven't seen in a while. He's like, "Hey, you guys, you you come, we hang out." I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Because I'd forgotten one simple fact. Mm -hmm. I get to my car. I look at my fuel gauge. I'm like, "Boss." Uh, go hang out, in case you have a meeting. Uh, boss, I can't come. Mm -hmm. Why? I do have fuel. Mark mm -hmm. we will not cause a fuel. Like, I don't. Kakwakahao. Kambia God. Nishtu ehez, zi. Nishtu mtu yote, zi. You chill. Nifaya nini? Chill. And then nimekakwakahao. Nime chill. A friend of mine calls me. Uh, she's like, hey, Mark, what's up? How are you? Had you're not feeling well? I'm like, yeah, I'm better now. Nini, nini, nini. And she's like, hey, you sound like you're at home. Like, yeah, what of gender? Uh, Sinadu. Like, ah, ah, how now? And because she's a very tight pal of mine, she expected me to go, like, please, Unezanishtua. Nirushi Kitu. Miko told me in the morning, don't ask for money. You get? Mm -hmm. By Tuesday, June, 
I was sorted. You get, I was more than fine. I sorted all my bills, plus Dennis. But there are times, God has told me, hey, Ishimo, how to kill her? Yeah? Pigia, you get. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes God tells me, listen, this is so weird. I listen to God when to invoice my clients. Kuna invoice ya December, na ni pesa nyingi, sijapeana makasa ye. Unimboshike. Because the patterns of the world, and I'm using money to give you a pattern, patterns of the world, it's very easy. You don't have chums, bones, nyaji? You get. Whether you ask God or not, you, you, it's, it's a pattern. That's what you do. Mm. You get. It's end month. You're supposed to invoice. You invoice. So many of the times we miss hearing God because we assume what he wants to do is obvious. It is not. That's why when people post and say, pray for so and so, they are sick. Eh, maybe I'll give you an answer. What upon? Or keep your heart strong. Because unless you know what God is going to do, stop giving people false hope and giving God a bad name. You get because you go there, 60 of you. Oh, we decree and we declare. Oh, I had a dream. Oh, so you what? Dude dies. Now people are like, eh, is God a liar? Is God a what? No. You have not learned to tell the purposes of God. And remember, <coughs> of all the prophets in the Bible, it is said of Samuel, God did not let a word of his fall. fall. But he could not recognize David. So which means you also see in parts. That is why you need to be surrounded by a community of people who establish a matter mm. by the weakness of two, two or, three. or three. You get. Mm. That's how your life is to be ordered. You get. Me, someone can call me and tell me, I need to meet you. Let's do biashara. So, I promise you, I will ask God, should I go today? Should I go tomorrow? Should I go ever? You get it? Sometimes I meet people, they're supposed to do biashara. I call them after six months. But I'm procrastinating because I know if I walk into that place with grace, I'm fine. I walk in there with the patterns of the world. I do stellar presentations, I've got a nice tongue. Boss, I can walk into that place without grace, achieve nothing. But I can walk in there with grace, just sit down and be given the contract. So which one do you want? The obedient path. You get. So you need to train your ears, your heart, your soul to hear God. In fact, we have learned being broke, checks me. Not hearing God. Nikiamuka, I can't hear God. Both. Let me tell you. Mimi Ataka, I'm doing the worst of things. No, is anger God by the eat eh. Na John Mifika, my third cup, my third glass, but uh nyanle. Sutan chunga. You get. Because at the end of the day, God is in everything. Mm. You get? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to overcomplicate. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pablo Jikide. You know. Okay, uh, okay, guys, let's let's rehash. Yeah? Mm. 
First, remember when it comes to good and evil, you cannot make yourself good. It's a lie. We all know you wake up, you say, Today, I shall. Kwanza, this, this one. You know, there's a preacher who came to our. our was I in high school or campus? I mm. can't remember. It was one of those institutions where a, a different preacher comes every weekend. Mm. Then he read from Job. He said, Job made a covenant with his eyes mm. not to look at a woman lustfully. Some of you are suffering in your lives because you, don't because you look at women lustfully. Yes, I was in high school. Mm. Both, or at your high school body. Maseno. Boss. The only beautiful thing was the Maseno tree. <laughs> Boss. Unatoka shule, unakuja Nairobi. <laughs> My friend. Kila day. Mena covenant yako Christian. Every day I would <laughs> wake up and say, I will, shall not look. Is the day I will look from morning to evening. But... Paul said, the thing I don't want to do, I keep that doing. I am continually doing. doing. Wretched man I am, who shall set me free from this body of sin and death. Praise be to Christ. Who what? In whom I have died and resurrected. The job of making you nice is not yours. You can't do it. If you could, which one of you, when you're doing a mistake, you're like, woohoo, look, I am risking my life. Yay! I am risking my marriage. Woohoo! Yes, Bones. Um, and you say, um, director of? The oh, DOP. Oh, DOP. <laughs> 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 I, think, I think the best analogy to that yeah. is uh, a picture we always uh, use yeah. um, where an, a gazelle is being chased by a leopard and then the gazelle, is, the, the gazelle says yeah. uh, deliver us from the evil yeah. and then the leopard behind it says give us this day our daily bread yes so, that's, yeah. that's a good one so it gazelle is saying <laughs> it, gazelle is being chased by a leopard Gazelle is praying, deliver me from evil. <laughs> and the leopard is give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So, the same applies with, you know, like, when you want to look at it, and we have that, um, what do you call it, where the underdog syndrome. Yes. So, most of us say that part of the prayer was more of like deliver us from evil. Because that's a make up of if it was on Instagram, maybe, we'll be like, you you will wish to see the gazelle walking over there. Yes. And then the nobody will go over and you go over and look at Yes. And then you are like an evolving dot. Yes. Good yeah. build. Yes. So you come back and you realize you have a hundred chicken. Like like right now, most of us in this house, the total count of chicken you've eaten since you were born here. This is not your time. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost two thousand. You almost have eaten two thousand chicken. Yes. You've killed two thousand chicken. So what does that make you? Maybe vegetarians are right. Yeah. Me am a plant man. Yeah. Plant yeah. with kula na dum na skev baya. Yeah. More than skev baya your plant meaning kula. Yeah. Still. You see na yo do na yo do do kukula pia. Exactly. So that little skev will never. It can't. It can't. It can't. Based on whichever side you're looking at, you are a villain in every story. Yes. And you see, this is why it is so critical to remember. The most important thing you can do with your life is to be on God's side. You get? <laughs> True. God's side is the one where Daniel served seven, was it seven or four? Evil kings. You get the guy God has found unworthy, Daniel kept in office. You get he did not 
uh, sabotage the government. Mm. My dear friends, when you consider yourself a planting of the Lord, the only time God says he will cut you off is not when you have aphids, it's not when you are not clean, it's, not, it's when you don't bear fruit. And fruit are born by a simple thing. You are a planting of God. But your heart is also God's garden. If you can be sensitive enough that when he drops the seed of his word, you are obedient enough to know, is it my time to move? Is it my time to sit? Is it my time to go? Is it my time to do this? When you learn that, you will prosper in all you do. This week, I realized, because the medication I'm on now, for once, I am feeling better. So much so, yeah. that those of you who know me know that for like a year, I've not been able to be awake like the whole day. At three, I must nap. You guys, I have gone to bed at three. Sunday, I didn't sleep. Monday, I didn't sleep. I didn't even tell Agi because I'm like, maybe ni, maybe ni fluke. Mm. Tuesday, I didn't sleep. Today, <laughs> even for class, I didn't sleep. I tried to. I am like, eh? How then have I survived with five hours of work for almost two years of my illness? and still made an income. And then I remembered, Enyere, if you know God, you cannot cheat God. Mm -hmm. Because those five hours, my clients never realized I am five hours. I'm three hours short of a day. Because those five hours, the little strength cause, okay, you guys have no idea doing any task i do a zoom meeting i feel like i'm dying like my energy is gone so i used to wake up every day and sometimes i can't even wake up early like if i wake up early it's nine first thing i wake up i ask god what should i do today tells me email this client call that person do this sometimes it is th three things i sleep that's how I survived two years of illness. This thing works. There you had it. For yourself. You had it, it first. It's real. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it has, he's smoking, he's smoking. He didn't even comb his hair today. That's how rugged it is. Has giving it to you, rough and rugged, since 19... However long it was. You get, do you know, do you know, according to the laws of vintage. Of vintage? Yes. Like when, at what age should something become vintage? Mm. Anything before 2004 is now vintage. All of y'all. It's for one way. And the is vintage. Quisha. Anything, not anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. No, it's vintage now, yeah. Like like uh, um, PlayStation 1 consoles. Uh, hey, you guys are fetching a premium now. For real? Yeah, now, now they, are, uh, they are considered uh, vintage. vintage. Yes. All those things you are about to throw out of your house. Yeah. Slow but, down. but you see, the thing is, our, the, the, the vintage market in Kenya is zero, my friend. This is true. Yeah. But Kau Konaile TV, anyone listen to me, Konaile TV, Ilea Black and White, Ilikuwa na... Screen TV in Afunguka. Yeah, please sell me one. I can see any TV to a Kabati, a laugh of company. No, no, I want the vintage thing. You know, I'm a vintage collector, right? Yeah, I know. Mm. Just that. Yeah. I love him look on watch TV. Yes, you can. Ah, because that red one. Eee, you guy. 
you get kila kitu ni black and white muli ba hizo ile is ya red green blue nini you, you, you saw that thing i what? keep telling people so before color tvs were a thing eh, yeah. there was this piece of plastic guys who sold oh so uneka uneka ka film yeah. so part moja ya tv yako ni red so yellow no, no, and no. green as guys survived with the black and white tv yeah. until the good lord sent thieves <laughs> seven days before world cup yeah. were they evil were they evil that's yeah. why i said the good lord yes. sent thieves yeah. seven exactly seven days before world cup yeah. wakaiba tv yeah. me i'm convinced yeah. my good father yeah. will replace this tv yes. before world cup before and you were right huh? yeah. two years later yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dad is a kikui. <laughs> guys uh <laughs> Watu wameanza hapa ku reminisce. It's been good. Asante sana. Eh discernment. Eh yenye discernment. Eh hiyo tu ndio eh discernment. Hata siongezi. Muendelee ku discern. Thank you very much. Ah uh, and thanks for praying for me. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for having me. Thanks for loving me. Asante sana. Asante sana. Thanks for discerning that you need love. DOP. See you guys. <laughs>